Hello Luigi Noids, this is Luigi X Rules playing Hollow Knight Blind. In the last episode, we collected this Void Heart charm, which apparently unlocks some endings and delivered a flower. And in this episode, we are going to begin our final collection. We have four more charms and two more mask shards. I know where almost all of them are. Um, excuse me. Most of them through looking them up. Because, frankly, I don't think I'm good enough to find them all on my own. So, first things first, we gotta figure out the fastest way to the Royal Waterways. Problem is, there's not really much close. I guess... I guess the closest would be, um... Would be the hidden place, huh? Oh yeah, speaking of um, Yzma's Grove here, I um, looked it up and apparently um, Yzma's Grove only opened up after defeating the Dung Defender. So, finally figured out what that guy did. Yep, all these guys are gonna respawn since I finally... Finally sat at a bench again. Thankfully, I think the only thing that should be that stressful from now on is the... Oh boy, is the under... is the final level of the Colosseum. I'm expecting that to be very stressful as well. But we're not gonna take that on right now, even though we are kinda the closest we'll ever get to it. Don't you just love it when things are telegraphed? Yeah. First of all, there's a king's idol here. This is, um, by the way, um, where we fought the Dung Defender. I can actually come in here and see that he is still alive. And he appears to be having a bad dream. And I'm guessing that this is like those other dreams. Where we just fight a stronger version of them. White Defender. Now remember that we beat this boss without getting hit, without dying a single time. Oof, he's much more aggressive, I feel. I always forget that this launchy attack can do that. Ouch. Not everything can be beaten on your first try. It's interesting how you can see like five figures in the background. Alright, I'm gonna switch to a combat mode here. What the heck happened in the second half of that fight, man? Why is this so hard?
Ah, memory. Man, high flood really helps. Oh. Ah, oh. are those his friends in the background? Do you think? My friends, I will protect our dear kingdom. Have faith in me. We will all meet again. I promise it. Poor guy. Well, we got a bunch of essence for what that's worth. Now that we've completed the essence thingy, though, there's not. I don't really see much of a purpose for this. By essence thingy, I mean. Um, we got an 1800. <sighs> that one took me a bit to learn his patterns and everything, but at least we're done. Sad part is, I know that there's a couple more boss fights we still have to do. Like, I wonder if now, because remember that there were some dreams that were hidden until we powered up the dream nail, so I wonder if that includes like the first boss. So I finally realized was something inside of the husk of a knight. So another thing I wanted to check out just in, to see what would happen. What happens if I equip both Hive Blood and Joni's Blessing? That's crazy. And then I get hit. That's insane, man. It takes up all of my slots, but... Yeah, it still heals. That's incredible. Looks like it takes longer to heal. Which is fair. But, wow. That's pretty cool. Of course, it also does take up all of our notches, so we pretty much can't do anything else, including Sharp Shadow. But if we had just one more, then we could do that plus Sharp Shadow. Whew. <sighs> Alright. We'll equip this set for now because we got another boss to fight here. And I believe it's actually pretty darn close by. It's the hidden passageway here. And in here, we have water. And we have this thingy, the fluke marm. Ow. Stop. Stop, I said. God. Is that it? <laughs> we were definitely meant to take that guy on a little sooner. Maybe before we had all the nail upgrades. But anyway, we got a new charm. Fluke Nest. Transforms the vengeful spirit into a horde of volatile baby flukes. We'll have to check that out next time we get to a bench. Well, yeah, that one was comparatively super duper easy. Oh wow, all these tiny ones give us soul. Alright. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. And now... Alright. Next stop is going to try to be, um, if we can figure out how to get to the other side of the royal waterways towards the fungal wastes entrance. Yeah, I'm gonna roll with this combination for a bit. Because there's got to be 
a way to take it to the fungal wastes that we just haven't found. Can't believe these guys still take two hits. So here's the direction that map guy was in. It's this room. This is the room that I can never figure out. Hopefully since we can sift through the acid, we can figure something out though. I guess it's more this room, right? Yeah, this is the way back. Huh. It is still possible that it's on the fungal waste sides of thing. Although, I wouldn't imagine that being the case. Unless there's an upper entrance. Which is always possible. Oh, what was that? Not destroy it doesn't look like it was the wall even though it, the wall itself looks very suspicious all right well let's explore up here a little more wait what wasn't there a gate here before oh well oh well now that gate opened now we get the shortcut to back to fungal wastes real quick. Alright, I could have sworn that there was a barrier here before, but whatever. At least now we have the shortcut. And now you can see what I've been missing here. Because it turns out, remember the other day when I searched for a guy that we saw before? Yeah, it's this guy. And so I also looked up how to find them. Apparently, there's a secret path right here, right by the Dash Master statue. Wow, you can one-shot these guys now. Alright, and now... Nice, enough of them, even. Wow, this is like a whole pathway here. Can't believe I missed all of this. Yeah, this is clearly intended to reach as soon as you get Mantis Claw. Ooh. All right. Hello there. Oh, please don't leave me behind. You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so... so... I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... You came to rescue me, Bretta? The girl that everyone just... ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town, I mean. I better get home. Thank you. Hmm, perhaps... So, she said that she'd head back to the house, right? Cool. So, where do we go now? Well, I think the smartest thing to do would just be head back to Queen's Station. There's still this cocoon, man, and all of the looking up stuff I've seen, I haven't seen anything to do with this cocoon. Well, either way, I think we need to head back to Queen Station. Alright, the first next place we're going to go, I think, is actually going to be Deep Nest. Because there is something down there that we still have to get. And it's not related to the cocoon, sadly. Still don't really know what's up with that.
Yep, there's another hidden wall there. Alright, we are right there. As you can see, I even placed a pin there. And so, beyond this... Is the Weaver's Den! Hello there. Hmm. Got some more spiders. Ooh. Lots of spikes. Ooh, what's this? Weaver's song! I believe that's the main thing to collect here. There might be a... Um... Mask shard down here somewhere, too. Oh, wait, no. We'll get that back naturally. Or not, jeez. All right. Ooh. All right. Bye. Hmm. So can we go down this way? Kind of seems like we should be able to. Ooh. Looks like it's just a rancid egg, though. Is all this really worth it for a rancid egg? I don't know. All of that just for a rancid egg, yeah. That's probably all that's in here, huh? Looks like we might need the sharp shadow, because the sharp shadow is what um, increases the range of the shadow dash, by the way. Hmm. So that's all that's in here, huh? Just the Weaver song. Looks like it. Let's see, anything up there? Nope. Oh, uh, let's check it out here. Ah, we're getting all filled up. Huh. It's weird, the inside of it has a little dot. I guess it's the blue background there, huh? Anyway, Weaver Song! Silken charm containing a song of a fare of farewell left by the weavers who departed Hollow Nest for their old home. Summons weaverlings to give the lonely bear some companionship and protection. So it's like, so it's like the womb thing, probably. Oh, <laughs> let's see here. Actually, the closest. Um. Hey, I was in the middle of something. Jerk. Anyway, the, I was just saying, the closest um, bench is probably going to be back here by the Grey Mourner's house. Alright, so next place we're going to head here is going to probably be um, Dirtmouth, of all places. Yeah, so we'll go to Dirtmouth. Cause there is some more here. Huh, is there always that grass in the foreground? Hello there. Grey Prince, so dark, so troubled. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. Glory, you've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, Life Ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into a s ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the, the key to my is in my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zote. Particularly relevant here is the first precept, always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well, alright. What do you think? I came to this kingdom to, fu to fulfill a promise, and now I have succeeded. That promise I made so long ago. A promise to myself. A promise of glory. For I, Zo oh, that's not who I meant to hit. For I, Zot the Mighty. Glory for I, Zot the Mighty. I have never doubted myself, never faltered, and now I have achieved everything I desired. What about the girl, though? No, I want to target the girl. Heroic. Beautiful. Alright, so we will check out the this house in a bit. 
for now, um, I actually want to go back to Crystal Peak. Because I believe there is something for us to do there. Kill more of these guys, and you can only do it with soul attacks. Alright, now, anyway, apparently this guy was actually on to something here in the Crystal Peaks. He was mining this wall, and apparently there actually is something beyond this wall. Part is that it looks like they have different timings. It looks like it's here. Dang it. There. Alright, and that's probably a path back, but the path forward contains lots and lots of crystal. And deep focus. Look at that, we only have one charm remaining. Anyway, Deep Focus costs four notches. The bear will focus soul at a slower rate, but the healing effect will double. So, you'll focus soul slower, but you'll heal twice the HP. That sounds cool, but it costs four notches, and there's... In my opinion, there's better things to do with four notches. Alright, so now we are going to go back to dirt mouth once again and probably do one more thing to wrap up the episode now all right the last thing we're going to do in this episode is check out what's in this house there's a picture of so oh there's a heckin mask shard sweet so we're one away from completing another one there's this the gray prince he heaving heavy breaths, flush from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his only trophy. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it, the fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. A startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true. Their white savior, thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and this shrouded gray prince was, in truth, the hero deserved. With honor and humility, he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Hmm. Is he saying that... Is he talking about us, do you think? Maybe we can descend. What the... It's a dream portal kind of thingy here. Huh. This reminds me of the padding and where we found the collector. Ah! Whoa. What is going on here? What the? No! Holy cow, what is happening? Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, Grey Prince Zote. What is happening? Why are there so many of them? That Bretto was secretly, uh, the master of all the Zotes. Okay, buddy. Just gotta take a moment to recognize his patterns. Ah, oh, man. Look at how high in front of him is. Oh, okay. Good, perfect time to heal. Ah, oh, man. Oof. What the heck is that attack? <laughs> Dang it. I wasn't gonna 
Every time you land, see? Turn the shockwave out. Ah! I just wanna juggle him there. Luckily, we're sitting right by a bench, so it's pretty easy to just try that again. But anyway... Oh, you know what? If that's a dream, that's probably just her dream. That Zote can take care of her. She's falling for his dirty tricks. Alright, let's see here. What three one can we do? We can try Weaver Song, actually. Yeah, let's try that, see how that goes. And then Um, I guess Scrub Song. Yeah, we have three little spiders following us and they don't even take soul. Alright. So now we can attack this person's idolization of Zoot. Looks like we have to fall down every single time though, huh? Yay, passive damage. I like passive damage. It's my specialty. Look at that. Look at how much damage we're dealing. Ah, being above him is normally not a good strategy. like the disadvantage to them is that they're grounded, huh? Yeah. Alright. Passive damage is my forte. I think this strategy is going to work. I just got to pull it off better. Dark Romance. That's the achievement we get. Whew. Ooh. Well, there we have it. Getting a lot of achievements. Alright, I don't know how long this episode is, just like all the rest. But I have a good feeling that that's going to end it off. The next episode will likely be the finale, as we only have one more Mask Shard and one more Charm to grab. After that, I will be taking on the final boss. Although, hang on, real quick, I am, just because I'm curious, I want to see if the Banker's back yet.
Nope, looks like the bank was just a decoy this whole time. Dang it! So that means we don't have any way to store our geo. Ugh. Well, while we're here in Queen Station, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I want to use the Dream Nail on this guy. Assuming he's still here. How are you? You say any new dialogue? This place must have won. Oh, yeah. Must have been quite the... This place must once have been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seen Oh yeah, so I think I already read that. Let's see what he has to think. This little creature looks tasty. I wonder, should I eat it? The others around here are awfully bland. Don't eat me! So, that will do it for this episode. And the next one, we have an one more mask shard, one more charm and uh, we probably can go back to the first boss excuse me and um fight the first boss again but all the and then time permitting we'll fight the final boss after that until next time goodbye